14.4, 17 17.7, 16.6. So you, it'll, be, it'll vary a lot up there because you're in a, at it, you know what I mean, the breeze is going through, so. 26.2. Is there anything that looks like it's been moved around or anything unusual? 17.8. 18.3 Everything looks fine. Okay, Al. 18.6 16 It all started off at first of all where I was around my mum's house and we was eating bull bacon and chips and I had a pasty as well and mum was like, how come you're eating your food so quick? And I've looked down at my plate and I've gone, I haven't eaten half of that. And then mum's turned around and got a piece of boiled bacon thrown at her face. My name's Jason and there's a poltergeist in my house basically. And not a good thing to be honest with you to have and I wouldn't wish it on anyone. How did you feel though, knowing that people thought it was you that was doing it? Makes you laugh really. Because you're sitting there knowing it's not you and they're accusing you of stuff. I mean, it must have been a whole year being accused by the police of am I doing it and then I officially sign a piece of paper at the end of it saying that I had officially hadn't done any of it to say that I haven't done any of it, haven't mucked about and didn't know street magic. Why do you only do things like this when Jason's around? Do you think you've got some kind of power over him? Hello, I'm Darren, and together with Peter and David and a couple of other lads, we've come down from Manchester with Paranormal Investigators who's been working on this case with me for probably about nine months now. Um, like Peter said, when we first heard about this case, it was just, I mean, as Paranormal Investigators and going around the country, you see all kinds of things, smaller coincidence, nothing prepared us for what happened when we got here. Oh! Oh shit! It's, it's quite rare, but it, it's actually activity. We don't know if it's, we don't know if it's energy, mm. we don't know whether it's somebody, natural or something. It? Yeah. You don't know if it's about somebody that's passed away, if it's about somebody that's still alive. Some scientists say it's, it's, it's the people that are alive and they've had stress. Some people say it's the ones that have passed over. But you never what, really know so it, it, you? scientists or, or not, it's only their opinion. Mm -hmm. They cannot be an expert on on something that nobody knows anything about. When one is, day eventually it's gotta give up. Yeah. One day. Perhaps, but either either way, as it stands, we're all clueless. Because you know, we don't none know, of us we know. don't know what we're up against. No. There's no answer there's, there is no answer to this subject. Mm. They assumed it was street magic, that I was very good at street magic. I'm Alan Lewis. Um, this is my wife Ivy. We lived in this house about full 26 years in this house. Um, lived in this for about 44 years. Um, and this is the first time anything like this has ever happened. Mm. All sorts, all from the house that had to be thrown out because of them getting thrown. There's uh, tables under all this, coffee tables, you name it. There's lamps, there's photographs, there's bits of computer. Um, I think, you know, it's just everything that was breakable, throwable, that we had to get out quick and just put it down here, out of the way. And someone said that it would be safe down here. I don't want this. Frequency units. These are very, very basic. They run from 1 hertz to 50 megs. We normally go into a property with these and you'll get a baseline frequency which you're starting to get. After that we'll transfer the baseline 
to this unit and it will begin to sweep 300 megs either side of your baseline and that will cover everything. X sweep will record all frequencies, time, date, power, signal strength. Whether it is safe down here or not, we're not sure. But at least it's out of the way of it being thrown at people. Anything yeah. heavy, dangerous. You know, our, our main thought was getting anything out of the house yep. um, because of danger. Jason's gold cross, gold um, cross and chain, just we brought it. down here, that's gone. <coughs> I can't find that. You don't leave a bag about. Uh, have to walk about with it all the time. Not that's that we don't trust these lovely people here. It's the perfect suburban street, beautiful detached houses, gorgeous garden, and then right in the middle of it was this house with a black cloud over it. That was about a thousand pounds worth of equipment get destroyed middle of last year. We set the cameras up, everything was all locked off with keys. We left the property uh, three days later. One camera system was destroyed first, the hard drive was torn out of it. Yet there was people in the house but gone. Then a few days later, the other hard drive was torn out. So now it's a case of well, in this house, you can't leave the camera systems unprotected. You've got people here. The two systems in there are actually in a metal cage and it's uh, waterproof to stop it getting drenched with water or basically just getting trashed. Out of the blue, last May, um, got a phone call from me to ask to come and um, deal with a severe pole gas case. Now we've done numerous investigations all over the country and so on. Uh, but we've never actually dealt with a poltergeist case. When we turned up to the house, we just couldn't believe what we've actually entered. Um, as soon as we got out of the car, a stone came flying across the street and actually hit me on the foot. It smashed when it came in, full of ice and snow. And it peaked. Covered the stones out there, what was being thrown, spine and other things. Mm. Well, I've said some of these stones, for me, they're not necessarily from round here. They could be from a completely different time. We were absolutely amazed. We've never had activity in broad daylight like that before. But when you want, you step in this house and you see the show, what these people are living in, you just can't believe that this is actually happening. That's the original one. Yeah. What got broken? It's all what, 56 million England, And then these two the disappeared. Yeah. They just got thrown down yeah. in the kitchen, yeah, right, didn't just they? Hmm. Just the wind, right? Might be waiting for his mates to come back. Yeah. Can't do it on his own. No. Don't do anything about his mates. Goes down then. Come on. What are you scared of? Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Hey, it's hard, that beat. It's very, very difficult to throw lines. Oh, wow. You don't have to tell me. Yeah. Just a little pussycat, really. Three, five, three. Two hits again. It's the sheer force of them. I'm not going to spike it. Anybody else thinking if that hits me in the end, that's what's been gone. My heart's racing here, I wonder if it's just because I've come upstairs. If you're listening to us, do something.
You're just a little bully, aren't you? You're just a bully boy. No. You see, I, that's me I told you about, Craig. He's had a migraine for about four hours. He's had to give him an hour or two. And we'll start again. Proper. We're professional in what we do, but we try and keep the mood as light as possible. Yeah. And that's for Alan and Ivy's benefit. It's not for our benefit because it, oh, it stops us being scared or whatever. It's for their benefit. They live with doom and gloom every single day. They don't need us to bring more. Jared. Who's Jared? Come on, Jared. Come on, Jared. The thermal cameras are a very, very good piece of kit. Just in case something changes. The main things that we've witnessed have been projectiles, haven't they? Mm. Like rocks, batteries, you name it, smashing into walls. It just went on and on and on. We had police sitting outside the house, in plain clothes, playing cars, everything, trying to find it. They could hear all the stones on the windows. Couldn't doing it. Both of these were caused by stones thrown from inside the conservatory when nobody's in there, we we're all sitting in the front room. Apart from the puncture marks from various bottles and missiles going into the ceiling, the light fittings themselves are ripped out on a regular basis. This is a conservatory. Now I feel a bit bad about this room because up until about seven months ago, they never came out here. And Ivy had said to me because it's the only place where the windows aren't smashed. Did you, did you hear that then? You're a hundred percent witness. Hundred percent witness to that. I just said that might be a good idea there. to keep rolling. Do you know what? Before, before he gets it, is it worth explaining? Explain it to the camera. Uh, taking a few stills of the garden and um, the back of the house that's been damaged previously. Um, one of these pot budders which aren't exactly small or light has just smashed on top of the conservatory um, roof up there and made a complete racket. We haven't, we haven't invaded underneath it. Oh, and there we are. And then they're still blaming me. I mean, it's understandable that they can believe me if there's nothing really going on, but other than that, what else do you do? And you've been locked away, really, haven't you? Not physically locked well, away, but... It's like being in a prison, really, but you get out every now and then, but it's like a punishment if you go out. All these windows got smashed, one by one, and it wouldn't stop at all until every single one of these panes of glass was broken. You go out thinking, yeah, I'm out for a little while, come back in, then it puts you back down again. Makes you feel angry. Well, it makes you feel angry and then you're getting worried about when to come in or not. through this, for the amount of time they've lived through, through this. And to go what Alan's done. And to go through, and Close Alan's through. had three strokes. And Ivy, and they just get on with it, you know, a window will go, go in, Ivy will pick the dust pan up and she'll sweep the, the, the bits away and Alan will get the MDF out and he'll measure it and tap it up to the, as though, not, as though it's nothing. But I suppose to them it is nothing compared with what you have had. Two years, three months. I can always remember the 2nd of December. Why I remember it, I don't know. 
As I say, I know Alan's sister got taken into hospital that day quite bad with pneumonia, but that might have been in my mind. But I'll always remember that. I can remember that day as though it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. And that's when it actually started on the Sunday. That was Sunday. And that's when it actually started. I've been having my dibs off at 12 o'clock at night, 1 o'clock at night. The water coming out of a lot. The water coming, out of the And the water ran out of the loft and straight down the stair banisters. I've got a lot up here somewhere. Can you plug that in on the landing down there? You're, you're, you're probably better than me for up there. If it's a small storage space, you fit through the gaps a bit better. Yeah. There's room to manoeuvre, but you. Don't go through the floor, will you? No, I know, but you know, if he says anything's moved, if he said anything unusual happens later, you're aware of how it is now. You know what I mean? Better to know what it's set out like before, you know, because then if something happens, you can. 16. Like if no one else has been up there since we've been up there and summit occurred and you went up, you know where everything is then, yeah? You manage. I'm just getting our time our time and I can see exactly what we've done today it's like a fast forward of a video this is good time yeah. this I bet when you started doing this on the floor it was a big job you did about it all day right. yeah it took us about two days I think in the <coughs> end we just came we'll do that bit we'll do that bit it's grown and grown and grown <laughs> oh you Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. 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 Out there. It's just that's just the way that can happen. So we arrive and we're going to stick for ourselves. I don't understand how that happened. Can I, Chris? Careful, mate. Oh. How did that do that then? Camera's, camera's just. The camera has just completely drained. Come on, dickhead. I like to have a smoke meter. Quite an interesting little piece of kit. All frequencies create energy or power. And if you're going above the 300 megahertz range, eh, that's basically the microwave. And microwave radiation is quite common in your normal house, either from Wi Fi or from a eh, microwave oven or even from cordless telephones. So ideally when you go in a house you've got to make sure all that's all knocked off first, otherwise you start getting the false readings. But she'll go up to 8 gig and it works very very well. Thermal guns, handy for heat differences throughout the house. There's at least two of them in there. Another frequency unit. Holy water by the litre. Mm -hmm. 
I invoke the first rule. All those not born in this dimension or created within this dimension may not exist within this dimension. I invoke the first rule. I invoke the first rule that everything must leave that is not of this dimension. I demand this under the first rule. I also ask that everyone's guides get drawn near and are fully protected. The house is going to be cleaned. Anything that's been invited accidentally or knowingly must also leave. The invitation is revoked. This is also demanded under the first rule. Now I'm going to fire up the circle. Basically what we've done, we've blasted the, um, the whole house with a huge amount of energy. <laughs> <laughs> I never stressed. Oh, I had a 37. Good day. Can you go back up here with a swing side that one? So you can see the news. You can have a good job here. You can get more of that stuff. So it looks like my small units are running a bit low. Three days, probably three hits. Two hits. Right. We've been tracking one thing it comes through is 189 megs. We've got about five hits on that. Another one we've been getting is 258, 259 megs. That's fine because I get the headaches with the 259 and I get the chills on the 189. Three hundred and nineteen. Dave. Dave. Yeah. Mine got hit downstairs, three hundred and nine, it's killed it's done good. Mine's on it was three hundred and nineteen. It's moving. Something. That light has just flew from absolutely nowhere. Where did it come from, Dave? Don't ask me. It's landing on the table. Is it your light? I think it's a table here. It just landed on the, on the, on the top of that shouted wall, Dave. It's a folded bed, actually. Well, what happened, Dave? It just, I was over here. I was chasing it about, funnily enough, watching the figures. And I said, it's moved from there, it's up here, it's over here. And as I turned there, it's something, well, it was a lighter. Landed on the table there. There's a light somewhere. Now where would I find the light? Oh! <laughs>
It's in this room, right? Yeah, it's 88. I mean, to go back on what Chris said there about feeling anger about how the family are, are being treated and what they've got. I listened to Alan being interviewed yesterday um, and I was just stood in the kitchen and you're listening to his words about him being retired and they've got no life and this is how he's not, he's not supposed to be like that. And it does make you angry. You feel so sorry for the, for the family, for all of them. I mean... You're, if it, you put yourself in their shoes, if it was your grandparents that had retired, tried to build yourself a decent home, tried to have a nice, easy life, now I'm not working, and they get this. Last three years has not been good. Does it make sense to read it? Because I like to like, type it up and like, make it. When this first started though, Jason, was it a time when you was enjoying the attention? Not enjoying the attention because you get fed up with it. But it's like when you get attention, at least you know there's people about you that can understand what you're going through. Yeah. There's been priests who have been here who won't come back. Police have been here and have witnessed the paranormal activity and they haven't been back. I mean, you have to, you have to, you know, you have to be strong up there to, to deal with this. I mean, this thing can follow you back to your house. 